Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and here I am with another LEGO Dimensions review, and this one's on the Knight Rider and 18 Fun Packs from 2016 uh, and 17, of course. So on the front of each box, same design as all the other uh, Fun Packs and things for uh, LEGO Dimensions, of course. Have both the well, top flap of both the LEGO Dimensions logos and interesting picture of the minifig and maybe builds that's included in it and the age group and amount of pieces saying that's a fun pack and the set numbers and green strips and showing for the fun pack that it is. Then down below is both the logos of each show and the uh, main components of the of both packs, of course. Uh, that again, but in French and Spanish, and also the starter pack and internet connection required for both of these, of course. And on the side, this side, which have interesting artwork of the mini, both mini things included here, and also the Lego and Dimensions logos again. On the back side which have the Lego logo again and the set numbers again. And also saying three and one and the main build for the uh, mini build and also the two alternate models for both of them. And then also the TT Games logo down below and also, usual warnings, and also the Adventure World and Battle Arena of both Knight Rider and the A-Team, of course. And now, on to the uh, little booklets, uh, which same picture as the front flaps of both boxes, of course. See, there's way more things, and also saying download the, the latest content for the game to use this one and also get the instructions through the app but there are some uh, websites that nowadays that you can get the instructions for it of course and then uh, advertisement for a whole bunch of the other uh, fun packs from both year one and year two and also level packs of year two of course and also Add for the story packs that there were, and the pieces included, and then add for the online survey, of course. First off is the main antagonist of Knight Rider, Michael Knight, played by David Hasselhoff, of course. And on the left, we have one of the main bunch of the 18, B.A. Baracus, of course. Um, let me hang on. Okay. So, as for Michael Knight, of which we'll maybe look at in a bit separately since there are separate things. But yeah. As you see, it, oh, wait, together, of course. So. As you see, his face printing done quite well for that, and torso printing, which looks very good with the leather jacket and red uh, shirt underneath, and not only any leg printing well for the for the legs for that, but at least it's fine for that. And the hair piece, good use of this hair piece for from reuse from the Hobbits. It's in the Lord of the Rings and Hobbit lines, but. Kind of interesting use there, but which I guess kind of it works for him. But, but although I think another hair piece could have worked out as well, but yeah. But as for B. A. Baracus, which face printing, which done quite good, and torso printing, uh, which 
well captures his in-show appearance for that, with all the necklaces and stuff. And also not only like printing for that, and of course wielding a wrench for, you know, obviously working on the van, of course. But as for the hair piece of which, so quite interesting and well done for that. Uh, quite well done for that. But of course, one that you can use on various mocks if you wanted. And then on the back side of which, I have back torso printings for both of them, both of which quite well done. But as Michael Knight's of which, does feature a double sided face, of course. Then, as for the base plates for both of them, that Michael Knight's which has kind of the a speaker system part of kit and also the knight symbol, well, of course. And as for BA Barakas, just the red outlinings of the van and the A team logo, of course. So I guess that is about it there. Now to the uh, build that came first in these sets is the 18 van, which is quite interesting, well done build for that. And like all the builds in Dimen LEGO Dimensions, comes on this toy tag piece for that and the cylinder part, but whereas with both of these, which they do roll around quite well for, for, for that. Then. And as for this van in particular, quite captures well it well captures the appearance from the show quite well. And also, good thing with these sets, which not only stickers for that, so these large uh, tile pieces, which you may think are stickers, but they're not, of which, nice to see. But as for the, this front part of the van, see with that grill piece, and also the clear studs for the headlights, and also the bumper part, all done quite good for how it is, but yeah. And also this ridge part for the upper part, I think kind of works, which works out quite well for that. And uh, also this upper part, which has these other panel bits acting for the headlight, for the windshield, and also this top part being the, being like a sunroof or something. But yeah, which kind of well works out, but also nice use of that piece there. And this side of which only bit of snot, or the only snot aside from the front, kind of down there, just a tile bin. And also does have extra room for the wheels so they spin freely. And also quite nice for that. But also like three studs on top, and also well, two of which that have a, a one by four plate or tile on the side top there. And then the back side of which. Which does have a clear uh, by two brick, one by two brick in there, representing a back window, of course, and then a like kind of hanging bracket with nothing on it. Well, and also do get uh, trans red studs for tail lights and cheese slopes down below uh, for that. But although it may look kind of a bit unfinished, but I guess it kind of well matches the appearance for the show, but without any license plate for that. Well, maybe that would be a little much for that since to add in for the alternate builds. And there it goes like that. And that's about it for the van. And now on to Kit, which also well captures the appearance from the show as well or this show as well, which minus the toy tag, toy tag for that. But like for this front part, which, which has a pair of, uh, of wedge tie plates there, which to give it the angular look of it, which quite neat to see there. And of course does have a, a trans red uh, tile piece or a pair of that representing the a red lighting part of it there. And also you have those classic uh, car uh, rim pieces that's going on both sides of it to give it a more angular look to it, or to him. For that. 
and then also have a bunch of cheap slopes in translucent red or trans black and also tiles as well for the whole windshield part of it then the back side which has a larger uh, car rim piece for that and also a large curved slope acting as that but, and also kind of barren from the back side but and, and of course do have a pair of uh, red or translucent red uh, tile or plates used as tail lights for that and of course missing a back or a back uh, license plate well maybe that would be a little too much but yeah but and also would be kind of useless with the alternate models of course and also do have just a pair of studs on top which can kind of which you can use to sit Michael Knight on if you wanted but yeah not so bad for that. And so now let me get everything together. And so now for the final verdict. Overall, I think these are which are both quite good packs for how they are. Like, do you get a couple exclusive figs with both Michael Knight and B.A. Baracus, of course. And of course, why B.A. Baracus was here was probably to be the most prominent character throughout the show of the A team, of course. Although Murdoch or whoever also could have been here, but maybe that could have been in another uh, fun pack or team pack or whatever. Well, and of course, but whereas the builds for both BA's van and kit, uh, which are quite good for how they are, despite being in small scale for that. But although I would like to see these in larger scale, and of course I'm sure I and a lot of people would like to see these in larger scale. Well, even though there are some projects on Lego Ideas for that, or maybe they could come in Speed Champions forms, but what, or whatever. Although, but also kind of interesting how these are like ran just random entries for that. Would have liked to see that again. Yeah, again, would like to see these reappear in other scales. But maybe so. I guess time will. But I guess time will tell. But yeah. And also these in the game of which quite nice and fun to roll around with, and also well, uh, do jumping around and such. It's been also, as for Michael Knight, I think could have had some extra improvements added on to that, but whatever. Maybe they, that could be fixed in another different set in the future, but yeah. And so now, if any of you uh, still have these set, these two sets from back in the day, well, I have had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that is about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.